Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a show me read when it comes to your finances. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, when, if you rock with me and got my six, mean to have my back because I have yours. It says, show me how to be abundant, where the power lies. Um, and let's see what else comes out. I'll pull one more card and where conflict arises when it comes to money. And it says, who can best help me? Who can best help me? So there you have it. Who can best help you in this situation? How abundance comes. Where the power lies and conflicts arising when it comes to money. So I'm going to pull from the show me the money deck. Sorry, that was loud. I'm going to pull from the show me the money deck to see what comes on. So how abundance comes for you. Um, show me the money. Um, abundance has to do with money, has to do with spirituality, has to do with growth. It has to do with a lot of things. It doesn't just have to do with one thing. So um, I'm pulling from this. I'll pull from tarot and I'll also pull when it comes to love. Show me where abundance comes from <laughs> an investor. I um I posted on my community tab. Uh, one of the tarot readers posted the King of Pentacles. Uh, we don't call him Sugar Daddy. We call him King of Pentacles in the tarot world. So an investor. So how abundance comes? You could be investing in something, or you could be investing in yourself, or there can be an investor that comes around you. Show me where conflicts arise when it comes to money. Conflicts arise. It says insurance and manifesting with. Uh, scripting, manifesting, and journaling. So, and it says insurance. Conflict arise when it comes to, uh, in regards to insurance. It says um, life, car, home, renters, business, medical back backup, medical backup plans, protection, and loss. So again, you could be at a standstill when it comes to your insurances or how you're going to um, basically um, provide yourself with medical support with. Uh, you know, any type of things that will uh, support you in the long run. So you could be trying to find out or, or find policies when it comes to insurance. Uh, could be backing your business up. Somebody could be investing in your business, but um, something that you manifested a lot about. Um, but when it comes to all of the things that you need to have in regards that's going to back your insurance up, those things are detrimental when it comes to the insurance world because the same ideas that you have people can come after them and you don't want that energy out there so you want to be protected when it comes to that where the power lies when it comes to money all right power lies and rejoice in advance for rising prosperity so um just being happy about the things that are happening for you that's where the power lies at and it's legal victory so again this could be a situation where you have um, have an opportunity or a vis uh, business that somebody has been trying to um, say that they're trying to take credit for it. So you have, you could have the proper foundation when it comes to these things, but it says legal victories. You could be winning a situation and again, rejoicing in the advance, uh, advance for rising prosperity. So again, where the power lies in is you making sure that Whatever you invest in, the paperwork is filled out right. You have the correct insurances to back you up, because these things can be can consider can be considered conflict when you are going after a certain situation. So, who can best help you is the best lawyer, the best insurance agent. These are the things that you need to know when it comes to doing things financially, physically, mentally, and spiritually. So, I don't know. This could be for someone, but this is where how abundance comes is you investing in yourself the correct way. You learning how to manifest and the things. Things that you manifest always have a backup plan in regards to and and it says a backup plan um always have a backup plan when it comes to the unknown and that's where conflicts arise because sometimes people don't realize that your blessings can be some or your blessings can be a lesson for you but it can be the way that somebody tries to pull your energy back so these are the things that you need to know this could be um somebody going into business like i say it could be certain situations that you're dealing with um maybe um you need to just keep uh, be, be in the loop about uh, when it comes to you investing in something of uh, some so sort of energy. So I'll pull from the yin and yang oracle deck. This is a reading that, you know, any business person or any person that is trying to manifest different things has to go through and has to learn from. And so this could be you doing business with anyone. Yeah, an offer. So you're going to receive some type of offer when it comes to uh, 
where your abundance is going to come from an investor and things like that. And when those offers come up, people can question the way that you do things. Yeah. And then they, you start to reflect and start to feel some type of way in regards to that. So yep. Contracts and career. So this says to debt, 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 do us part, meaning debt, a financial debt. And so you manifesting something could be about contracts, career, and commitments, but it also could be about finding your purpose, North Node energy, and avoiding stalemate, and then it comes with uh, limiting beliefs. So again, the way you manifest the things that you want, again, manifesting and the reflection of what somebody sees or how you visualize because you see the mirrors are right here. Somebody could see something totally different from what it is that you manifested, and then the avoidance and um, your purpose, you could start feeling some type of way in regards to that. I don't know. This is a reading that, um, you know, I've never done the reading like this before, but especially when it comes to business, but the power lies in you believing in yourself, but it also relies in you being happy for the things that the prosperity that's going to come or the things that are going to come in regards to that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull another card for this energy. Um, but yeah, you have to understand that with um, offers, with all of these different things, it comes jealousy. It comes with certain contracts. It comes with you feeling, figuring out the things that you need to do um, for, yeah, to have a breakthrough. Um, so you taking the per, per, proper precautions um, so that there won't be any issues moving forward so that you'll be able to celebrate and be happy. So this is where you find in this abundance right here where the power lies and how abundance comes. So it's just a recipro uh, uh, just like a reciprocation of what it is that we started with is for you to be able to celebrate and to have victories when it comes to you understanding uh, who can help you the best. It, it comes with you knowing that all of these situations you have in, you know, if this is an investor, these are the contracts you have to sign. If this is uh, in regards to a career, this is the the um, paperwork you sign for work. If this is in regards to uh, any type of commitments, whether it be love, a uh, prenup, things like that, based upon finding your purpose, the conflicts arise when somebody reflects and doesn't see the same thing you see and they start to feel some type of way. Um, and that's kind of how I see this energy that's coming out. Let me pull from the West of T deck to see what's going on, because as this becomes a business, it also becomes personal because you start to be put in a situation to where, you know, you're, you know, you start to be in a stalemate and change your belief system on why you're actually starting this. And you always got to remember your why, especially when it comes to business, because somebody can knock you off of your block by you starting to doubt yourself and doubt the process. Yeah. Want you back. So if this is in regards to a situation of love or uh, uh, anything where the conflict rises, that once somebody starts to see how abundant you become, they start to try to uh, want you back and want things uh, to be um, their way. And then they start to either take credit if you're not looking at things in a certain light. So just make sure your contracts, your relationships, and the perspective on the way you see things are, um, are very clear. Yeah, because it can cause you, listen, to go into bankruptcy. It can cause you to, and that's where the conflict arises. So make sure that, you know, if somebody is coming after you, you know, those types of things, like you have those squared away just because those are clauses. Those are just-in-case clauses, which every legal lawyer or every person that goes into business has to have those things. First of all, you need to be around people that you can trust. But second of all, not only that, yeah, when somebody is hurt, hurt people hurt people. And um, if this is in regards to a relationship and things like that, you know, people are going to be haters over your creativity. Damn. Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. So, yeah, somebody is going to be um, a hater when it comes to what you're doing and not celebrate you. Uh, so, I don't know. This is a really good reading when it comes to having all your... Um, uh, all your I, what is it, T's crossed and I's dotted when it comes to business and what it is when you think of relationships and things like that. So I'm going to pull tarot in regards to how abundance come to see what it is that uh, and then the conflicts that can arise and where the power lies at. So it's just basically letting you know that you need to have a backup plan. You need to have um, you need to have uh, the things set out for you because when these things happen, um, it can be a whole bunch of mess in order when you start to uh, basically have these breakthroughs in life. So how abundance comes is what we're clarifying. Um, abundance comes seven of uh, cups energy. This card tried to come out too. 
uh, six of coins. Yeah. So, yep. When there are strings attached. Yep. And uh, clarity of your thoughts. So seven of cups energy is, uh, and this is in the, is this the reverse? Yeah, this is a, in the reverse. So the Seven of Cups energy comes when, you know, you take action in regards to a certain situation. And I'm just reading that right there. And you see things clearly. So how abundance comes when there are strings attached, one-sided energies, the conditional givings, it says, unpaid debts, uh, dependence, uh, greed, and being undervalued. So this is this is what you have to make, make sure when it comes to these offers of the people that are around you who um basically uh focus on what you're doing and not the outcome of trying to support you does that make sense and so once you get this nipped in the bud then you won't have any people that are around you that the conflicts will arise with so we're going to clarify conflicts um arising comes out with the three of swords so the conflicts arise when there's deep emotional pain grief disillusionment it says depression heartbreak misunderstandings uh tears and tears and then loss so conflicts arise when there are certain type of misunderstandings in your life that come around when it comes to what you're trying to do. So, um, again, you need to know um, ahead of time what it is that you're in, uh, what you have to deal with or what you're going to deal with. You need to know ahead of time on how to be abundant, how to overcome the challenges and where the power lies that the power lies within you and having breakthroughs and having the epiphanies or actually seeing clearly of the facades that are around you and being able to understand what people are projecting on you. <clears throat> Somebody's throw chakras off because I was just about to choke. So where the power lies that, um, yeah, is what we're clarifying. So the avoidance, you can't avoid the things or yeah. Uh, King of coins energy in the reverse. It says, or King of pentacles, it says ruled by materialistic people or materialistic things. So you, the power lies and you understanding the difference between what it is, you know, if somebody wants you to rejoice or if they're disloyal and jealous and or stubborn, ungrounded, it says misery and hasty and very possessive. So people that don't want you to move forward, the other card that comes out is you having clarity, ace of swords energy, but this comes in reverse. So um, this is uh, you re reevaluating things and it says block communication, which I was saying about the stalemate, avoiding. You have to be able to make the, have these decisions in the beginning, especially when it comes to um, um, business and relationships because you can't avoid the things that you need. And it says, uh, or basically have a cloud adjustment when it comes to you um, doing things that you want to do. Because this could be, again, a relationship that goes bad. This can be a marriage. This could be a situation shift. This can be anything. This could be a business. This could be a job. But when it comes to two of swords, you have to understand that you have to make these decisions and you can't just be sitting in a stalemate energy. And it says frozen with um, indecision, unclear path, withholding, avoidance, stalemate, obstacles, and impasse. So you have to understand the obstacles that will happen before you get to them, you know? So it's like being able to see and understand that all your ducks are in a row, especially in business. And it says, who can be, uh, who can help you best? And um, again, that's you knowing when you go sit down and talk to a person, place, thing, or a situation in regards to certain uh, certain things, business, um, for this matter, or employment and things like that, you got to know exactly everything and everybody that's in your circle that may cause some type of um may cause some type of adversity if that makes sense so let me see mm, i'm gonna pull from the true emotional deck to see what comes out um i'm gonna pull a little bit more tarot too because i think that you know when it comes to certain situations like this you know just being clear about what it is that you're doing and bringing to the table is one thing but also being clear about your emotions or dealing with people that have certain types of emotions about you legal matters this was at the bottom of the deck so again this comes out twice contracts same thing um there is legal victory so contracts so this is you understanding it says uh criminal paternity child support traffic tickets divorce and prosperity so you have to understand that when it comes to you having all of these different things oh bankruptcy right here you have to know that the person that's hurt will come after you and the one that wants you the person that hurt is hurt that wants you back um and that really doesn't really believe in you and that thinks that you know uh the they're gonna get more out of you because of they were there from the beginning those types of things are the people that you need to really avoid and, and go from there and yeah i love you so again this could be energies that 
you know, you've been dealing with, yeah, that will try to trap you when when everything um, goes a certain way or when things, um, yeah, see, this is hard because what I see is basically you getting all your ducks in order against somebody that you have been around or you've been with or could possibly have some type of attachment to that makes you feel like you're trapped, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, the stalemate is like you hesitate on moving forward. Yeah, because they're, yeah, and not having any strings attached, no strings attached, because when you create something, you don't want somebody leeching off of your ideas or making you feel like they don't support you. Yeah, this person is tricky. Yeah, see, yeah, it's a lesson that you had to learn. Divine feminine energy, your energy, or somebody, you know, I say your energy, but could be somebody with heavy, heavy, heavy feminine energy, somebody who is hot or cold, could be male or female, one of the two. But again, it's the lesson that you have to learn when it comes to dealing with the type of people that you have that makes you feel trapped, but also hurt people, hurt people that will do anything for the love of money, for the love of money. Um, I'm going to pull from the, what is the name of this? Um, Cozy Witch Tarot to see what comes out. But yeah, I just believe that Again, these type of energies can trap you and, you know, take away your abundance by making you stagnant and not go make you go not have you go after your dreams. And so if you have everything figured out in the beginning, you won't feel this way. You already know that at the end of the day, you, the offers that you receive are basically going to. Yeah, Ten of Cups, they're going to be prosperous. You got the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. It's just you got to do the work in regards to, you know, getting ahead of it. This uh, The justice energy is in the reverse again three times. Bankruptcy, legal manners, justice, and doo -doo -doo -doo, justice here. And it was one more, I think. Bottom of the deck is, yeah, the chariot is you. So, again, you have to get all your ducks in order and get everything in the row so that when – and if these types of energies appear, hopefully they don't. You'll be ahead of it. You'll have everything. You Or you're letting this type of energy stop you from being creative. The hot and cold energies and trying to get somebody to believe in your your you and what it, your creativity, if that makes sense. And you want people to celebrate you. But again, who do you ask for help? You basically already know where your power lies at. It's like getting out and uh, rejoicing in advance for rising prosperity, knowing that your future will be right, but your prosperity based upon your creativity will get you here if you understand why you have to protect yourself in the beginning, and that's where your abundance comes in at. So chariot energy, I read, it says you'll never get anywhere if you keep standing still, and this is the type of energy, this hot and cold energy will keep you standing still at a stalemate, avoiding to move forward, if that makes sense. So this is for somebody that really needs to hear this, you know, so understand why legal victories, again, those things will happen for you is because you have to get out of this situation. Ten of Cups energy is okay, okay, but sometimes it's really, it, excuse me, but sometimes it really is all rainbows and smiles. You're going to be happy if you understand where you are and that not letting anybody get to you. It's about, about if you, about, uh, excuse me, a part of you setting boundaries, a part of you being happy for the things that you've experienced. It's those situations that make it easier for you. Hold on. It's those situations that make it easier for you so that you can get ahead, be ahead of the game, if that makes sense. And so we have the Nine of Cups energy, live in a constant state of gratitude, being grateful. And that's where the abundance comes in, rejoicing in advance for prosperity. So this could be past, present, and future, understanding that, but you have to rejoice knowing that the things will happen. Everything will happen the way it's supposed to based upon divine timing. But again, where the power lies at is knowing that you're going to be great. And then also we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, slow but surely you're going places. So just understanding and knowing that you're not going to let anybody trap you no matter how they feel about you, whether you're separated, whether they, they you know, um, are hot or cold, you're just going to keep going on and even if they let you left you hanging you know your beliefs have to change and you have to know your life's purpose 
especially if you're unsure about the justice, the consequences of their actions. Justice energy is also, you know, doing the right thing for yourself, but this is unsure. You're unsure if you should do the right thing for yourself and go after your creativity. Unsure about if you should leave a situation. Unsure about how to deal with the situation or how to be abundant when it comes to going after the things that you want. If you're dealing with somebody who is a taker but doesn't want any strings attached until they see you being prosperous. You have to understand what it is and why you need to move forward. So we have stick to your truth and everything will turn out just fine. So this is either you stick into your truth and everything will turn out fine or it's you stand and still, you know, it's you standing still. So that's kind of where I see this energy at. You have to be able to come out on top of this energy and know that the unbalance and the unfairness or, you know, the accountability, the lack of accountability for a person um, when it comes to their dishonesty or the way that they do things is keeping is going to keep you stagnant if you don't get ahead of this. So this could be you understanding either in business that this is what you have to do, business, personal, um, and also when it comes to um, dealing with um, – what is it called? Um, um, jobs and things like that. You have to be ahead of the situation before you allow anybody else to get ahead of you. So with the no strings attached, not letting anybody attach things that where it's going to keep you um, hanging. So strings attached, keeping you hanging, you know, and that's, you know, you understanding what the difference is, the hot and cold energies and you reflecting on the karmic energies that have been around you or that may come up when you decide to go after the things that you want that will keep, you know, knocking you down, knocking you down, knocking you down. So I don't know. This was what's for somebody that needed to hear this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull from the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements and the crystal deck, which is the chakras, um, click the links over here. Don't make assumptions. Yeah. It says relinquish the need to change others, to change others relinquish the need to change others so it says real love is accepting other people the way that they are without trying to change them if we try to change them this means that we don't really like them it is easier to find someone who is already the way that you want him or her to be instead of trying to change that person so maybe this person has been trying to change you and stop you and that's the reason why when you do go after your creativity you're going to make sure that this person doesn't have strings attached to you and go from there. And that's going to have you moving moving forward um, based upon your stability and not somebody else's or what they think of you. This is the crystal deck that I'm pulling from. Um, the card that came over is the Herkimer. Yeah, the Herkimer diamond. Sorry, I thought another card turned over. Is the Herkimer diamond. And it is the crown and the third eye chakra. It is divine guidance, high vibration, and attunement. Divine guidance, high vibration, and attunement. It says, spiritual communication comes naturally to me. Spiritual communication comes natural to me. So how to be abundant? Put it out in the universe and know that you're going to be rejoiced. You're going to rejoice and be happy with the prosperity that's going to happen. But you also have to understand that your belief system has to change based upon your reflection uh, of things and the projection that you have. And this is you understanding that you have to find your purpose and not to make assumptions and see potential in certain situations that may not have the potential that you need. So I don't know, this may be something that somebody needed to hear. I'm not sure. It started off, it started off as a finance energy, but the thing is, is that in order to be financially together or to have a business there's always going to be haters there's always going to be people the naysayers there's always going to be people that don't believe in you or that want to knock you down but if you have everything set up in the first place nobody can trap you and that's you finding your purpose and what it is that you want to do and not listening to the naysayers if that makes sense so there you have it find your purpose don't let anybody trap you and let's go ahead and let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate Negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.